The University of Tennessee is carrying on a tradition to help students make it home for the holidays. The college is focused on in-state students from Nashville, Jackson and Memphis. And tennis reporter Lauren Lovett joins us with a program meant to be easy with a small price tag. And you heard from students about the big impact it has on their lives. Lauren. John, the initiative turns what could be an expensive four hour flight or a six hour drive to Knoxville and back for parents into an easy, affordable trip for students. I'm very excited to be able to spend time with them finally. For many students with homes in West Tennessee, the only time they can make it back is for the holidays. During the day of Labor Day, like a lot of the campus was gone. I still been up here and it mostly just been me by myself and being alone. I'm like, y'all really miss my family. I call them all the time, but it's still not the same but been there. Traveling home could mean booking an expensive flight across the state or inconveniencing their parents. My dad would probably have to like take off of work and they'd come pick me up. Three options. Pray to God my parents gonna pick me up. That has a ten percent chance of happening. Um plane, very expensive, Greyhound. Pray I make it a lot. That's why UT provides a safe, affordable way for these students to get back to their families. The UT to West Tennessee initiative gives students who live in Nashville, Jackson, or Memphis a $55 charter bus ride home for long holidays. It just gives them the opportunity to, um, to go home and be with family just like anybody else. The number of students taking advantage of the opportunity has grown from 80 last year to 180 this year. So when I saw the uh, shuttle on Instagram, my mom was like, oh my God, please, please get that. That means an additional bus took off Wednesday morning, and UT says they're committed to as many buses as needed. The students left around 9 this morning and will return around 7 Sunday night. The shuttles will run again for winter and spring breaks, and students can register online. John. They're a great option. Lauren Lovett on the story. Thank you.